Thanks, sir. I'm going to discuss what how to retrieve lost record in each group using Microsoft SQL Server. So here I'm using Go or SQL.EMP table. Here you can see this is the record here DPT number that's duplicated so many times. And uh, here on 10 last rows is now 7934, 20 last row is now 7902, and 30 that should be displayed 7900. So let's see the query. So first here, using with keyword and giving here common table expression name EMP. Let's use is as then after select a statement, select then after D dot a star. So start that indicate all the columns. Then after let's use here row number and after that the next is and here over over then after right here partition partition then after partition by and using here dpt number then after order by so order by that going to do on this EMP number. EMP number. So since we need to get here last, so we should make that this on the descending order. And we're using here L, L, as well as as and they are giving R. After that, let's use here from give the table name as card dot EMP table that going to use and as here giving the name t then after let's use here select a statement and after that select a star from emp1 and here let's use where and if the condition is now rn equal to 1 then that display the record so let's run and check the output so now you can see here on this last 10 is now here 7934 7934 10 is displaying 20 is now here or uh, 7902 7902 that's displaying and 30 is now 7900 okay 790 it's a display so here this is now commentable expression and select t so t as or dot a star so t is now alias for escort or you know, emp tables so all the count that select here row number and this over and here this are doing the partition so 10 in one group 20 make that another group 30 make that another group after that here we need to get the last record from the each group so that we need to make that on the descending descending means on or down to up and ascending of uh, up to down so that this record is down to up and after that as rn and this is from and thereafter here comment per expression name so this select all and here this is now rn equal to one so rn equal to one okay so if i give here zero this has two values zero and one so if that give zero then you can see that's displaying nothing that means the condition is false so make that condition true so you need to give here or here value 1 so this is how we can get last record in each group using microsoft sql server so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you